What's up, y'all? We about to get into Danny's live. Um, basically talking to Sherelle. Child, let's get it. I can't get in the camera right now because I had no intentions on going live. And I've been sitting up here organizing my closet all day long. Like, you know, my little cute heels together. Put my little tongue forks. My Renee's together. Just get my closet together all day. Doing a little organizing and stuff. My little boxes up there and stuff. My little Gucci boxes. All my travel bags and stuff. You know, just get my stuff together. Hanging all my clothes up. Uh -huh. So, y'all, you know, I've been, I've been new this. I, I had already knew what was going on behind this fake scam and shit, right? I had already knew. But see, I'm the type of person, I don't care to clear certain shit up because I don't give a fuck how a motherfucker feel about me. If you want to think that I'm a scammer, oh, so fucking well, you can think that shit. But here's my thing, y'all. And I'm going to let y'all keep tuning in. I'm going to let y'all keep tuning in. I'm going to let y'all keep tuning in. I really want to end this live and put a caption on my live and then go live again because I, I really forgot to put a caption on this live. <laughs> but, you know, I just been letting people do their little shit. Been talk, talk, go ahead and talk your shit. Do your little thing or whatever. Because I already knew. Where this shit came from before the dude even did the little TikTok video. Y'all go look at the last video I just post. Go tune in to the last video I just post. And when you get to the ugly ass bitch messages with the fat ass Kayla Brown hoe, <laughs> you tell me what you see. So basically, y'all, I don't even know this hoe. It's a hoe from Dallas named Kayla Brown. I don't even know the hoe. Keep in mind. I don't even know no Dallas hoes like that. The hoe claim. She made $1 million this year. First of all, I don't hate on nobody. I don't even want to get into taxes. <laughs> I don't compete with no hoe. Like, I don't do none of this shit. I help my people make bags, like millions and fucking two, three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. I help people make bags. That's why I don't hate on people. So, this bitch claims she made a million dollars whatsoever. Oh, she a millionaire. First of all, Bitch, you ain't no millionaire if that's all you made, ho. You had to pay, if you paid your team, ho, you had to pay your team out of this. Second of all, ho, if you so say a millionaire, ho, screen record going into your motherfucking bank account showing me a motherfucking million dollars, bitch. Because if you can go in there and show me a motherfucking million, bitch, I guarantee you every million you show me, bitch, I can show you two or three. Mm. Time every one you show me, ho. Mm. Come to find out, this little ugly raccoon-eyed ass, puppy hair ass, Nasty looking ass hoe, Sherelle, that don't got her motherfucking kids. Bitch, you ain't even got cussed on one of your child, your children. And you want here sign all kind of shit. And I ain't even mad y'all. I just want y'all. I just want to talk to y'all in this tone of voice first of all. <laughs> but anyways, the case. Just sound country as hell to me. Kayla Brown hoe paid the Sherelle hoe a thousand dollars to expose me as a scammer. Go look at the last TikTok. Share this shit. Before I get off this fucking live, I want this shit to go viral. Share that shit the same way y'all be sharing shit about me. Go share that shit. So, keep in mind, y'all, I ain't mad. I just want to talk to y'all in this type of voice because this is what all the ghetto bitches do. So, bitch, let me be ghetto right now. But anyways, the ugly oh. raccoon-eyed ass bitch oh. gonna sell a thousand dollars. Bitch, you that broke that you accept a thousand dollars? To blast me as a motherfucking scammer, bitch, I'm gonna give you ten thousand dollars. <laughs> bitch, I'm gonna put a name on thousand on top of hers. Bitch, you took a thousand dollars. Bitch, your rent money was. I knew your rent was due. I, I just know your rent was due that day. Bitch, your broke ass took a thousand dollars to lie. And that's why y'all see y'all dumb ass be, be tuning in to the shit. That's why nobody can have no valid proof. They said I be depositing the, the, the people taxes into an unknown bank account. Okay, can't you take your ass to the bank and get a copy of all that shit? If, if the bank tell you that your refund been deposited into another account, what a paper at? The bank gonna give you a motherfucking paper and you know where the fuck your tax refund went to. Why the fuck can't, could nobody pay, uh, 
post that motherfucking paper. Why can't nobody post that paper? Because I know the bank will give you a motherfucking paper telling you this is where your, your refund went to. I will say, it is some crazy shit to come out and say a person's scamming with zero proof. And just because people don't like her or they believe. Wicked out here. This is the amount that we deposit and such and such and such and such. Why the fuck could nobody post that motherfucking paper? I'm so tired of y'all weird ass people just want clout. The only thing going around is messages of me going back and forth with a motherfucking client. You damn right. If a client get down wrong with me, I don't give a fuck if you're an eight-year client, fifth-year client. Bitch, if you curse me out, bitch, I'm cursing your ass back out. Call me unprofessional now. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Do you hear me? So here's my thing. This bitch gonna sell a thousand dollars from Kayla Brown. Weird ass. How you weird as hell. And half of your partners trying to come under me. Hey. And somebody like, you ain't even pay them. Half your partners in Dallas, bitch. Rachel, all them hoes. Reaching out to me. Fuck you mean, ho. But I guess you, I guess you felt threatened because I used to live in Dallas. I live in Houston now, y'all. So I guess the whole felt threatened because I used to live in Dallas. And I know you real, man, now because the Peach Cobbler Factory is in Dallas, bitch. But that's y'all dumbass. When you expose me, y'all the one, y'all the one lured all the Dallas people to start coming my way. I done signed up so many fucking tax partners from Dallas. My last fucking video I just posted, share that shit. Run that shit up. Cause bitch, how the fuck you gonna let somebody pay you to lie like I'm a motherfucking scam a hoe with your dusty ass? <laughs> hoe, you dusty as fuck. I ain't no way you want here with all these motherfucking followers on TikTok. Oh, it ain't much to say. She just... Yeah. Uh, and, I, and you looking like that, hoe. You ain't even got no money. Bitch, you don't even have cussing of your kids. And then everybody something somewhere. Well, then the kids that bitch, my, my kids been put up. Both of my kids got a million. Chad got a million. Channing got a million. So what the fuck you worry about my kids for? They go to private school. They yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, kids. They ain't worried about shit. They don't have to struggle for shit. A dad ain't motherfucking life. And they got a mansion to come to whenever the fuck they want to come here. So, bitch, stop worrying about the fuck my kids at. Damn, bitch, I just had my kids a week and a half ago. A real work. <laughs> bitch, you don't even have custody of your kids. And then everybody comes somewhere, well, then the kids that bitch, my, my kids been put up. Both of my kids got a million. Chad got a million, Channing got a million. So, what the fuck you worry about my kids for? They go to private school, they yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, kid. They ain't worried about shit. They don't have to struggle for shit. A dad ain't motherfucking life. And they got a mansion to come to whenever the fuck they want to come here. So, bitch, stop worried about the fuck my kids at. Well, you heard her. Damn, bitch, I just had my kids a week and a half ago. Even they with their fudge A real working bitch like me, I need my mama to keep my motherfucking kids. And I got mama. And my mama million too, bitch. So, guess what? She gonna keep the motherfucking kids. Mama. My last video. I pay my mama too to watch. I ain't even going to. Y'all just posted. I need somebody to watch Mango right now. Because I already knew that was going to come out because somebody had already told me about the Kayla bitch. But you know what? I said, I'm, gonna, I'm just sit back. I'm just sit back and see how this shit unravel. But you got to understand, like, man, this bitch got into it, y'all, about four, five months ago. All of a sudden, I pop out with Corey. This bitch trying to post old shit, old shit, y'all, to get some clout. Oh, you want to bring up old oh, shit, shit? You done posted four, five months ago that I might didn't even respond back to because I didn't give a fuck. Then, I want to get clout off you kind of peach cobbler factory. Man, I was, y'all already knew. For all the people that really was riding for the hoe, y'all dumb as hell, just like her. Bitch, I was at my fucking restaurant Friday. I was there Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, bitch. You wait. Yeah, that's the only thing that I can't get with, like, why didn't you, um, why didn't you go when she was there? I don't understand. Until I brought my ass back to Houston to my motherfucking mansion. And then you want to take your ass to Peach Cobbler Factory when you see me at the airport getting on my motherfucking flight, ho. But guess what, bitch? I'm going to be there tomorrow. I'm going to try to be there before my doors open. Do you hear me? I'm going to be there. I'm going to drive my ass down there, and I'm going to try to be there before my motherfucking inventory truck comes. 
so I can do my motherfucking inventory. So I'm gonna be that bright and early in the motherfucking morning. Oh, so she gonna be there. Oh. Guess what, bitch? I'm gonna be there tomorrow. I'm gonna try to be there before my doors open. Do you hear me? I'm gonna be there. So, real said that she ain't gonna show up. I'm gonna drive my ass down there and I'm gonna try to be there before my motherfucking inventory trunk home. So I can do my motherfucking inventory. So I'm gonna be there bright and early in the motherfucking morning with my motherfucking peach cobbler with that to shout out in my motherfucking hat, bitch. That's why they mad. I like your name. But let me tell you something. I got time today, so I'm going to respond. I've been working hard, cleaning my mother. My dude to help me organize my motherfucking closet. Thank you to my man. And I got motherfucking time today. Because one of the T-pages just sent me. The T-pages already been reaching out to me. So I had already told them, you know, that's how y'all get paid. You know, because I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck what nobody lay me as. Like, run your money up, T-page. Shit, do, do your thing. Run your shit up. But at the end of the day... They would still write me like, you know what, then this, this kind of wrong. Like, this hoe needs to be exposed. This hoe that I already got charged with scamming once before, this and that. I'm like, yeah, but that's what the hoe do. Because a lot of people going to start looking at the hoe like. That's crazy. I had no idea. But I don't, I don't really watch Shotty like that. I ain't going to lie. I seen her with the um Keith Lee situation. You bad. really just hating on this girl. And bitch, to come to find out that a bitch paid you a lame ass hoe. How you lame as hell, how you a Danny wannabe. I never in my life hated on nobody to the point that I had to pay somebody to expose them. But it's a lot of you tax hoes be doing that same little hating shit. That's why you hoes be making that little bit of money in three months and y'all be broke. Y'all bitches broke right now, I swear to God. A lot of y'all tax hoes broke right now. You waiting on the motherfucking startup advance loan that's coming in a month or two. That's why y'all hoes be broke. I ne that's why I don't associate myself with n nobody but my motherfucking tax partners in a tax guy. You hoes are weird. You'll do anything for money. Bitch, I am in six, seven different business ventures now. Taxes is like my least motherfucking concern right now. I've been doing that shit so long. I'm trying to make... I'm just being honest. I've been doing a tax shit so long. I'm trying to master something else. Y'all hoes make this this money in two, three months, and y'all hoes be broke. Fine, Birkin. Y'all hoes be broke, and then when you go broke, you start hating on the, hating on the, the biggest in the test game, bitch, because I am the biggest in the test game. I'm for sure the biggest in the test game. That's I can nice. stamp that. I guarantee you can't nail text hoes. Bitch, you can't go mashing for... Back to what I was saying. Can y'all still hear me? Cause y'all know after Kyle, you know, Labby kind of like acting open sheet. It ain't even about the money that you have. Man, I don't watch bitches that got 10, 15 more than what I got. Go live. Don't Cardi B go live. The fuck? Won't she get a motherfucker told? So I don't want to hear that. Can y'all hear me now? Let me know if y'all can hear me so I can continue on. If I could, then if I was right. Okay, cool. Y'all can hear me. But yeah, how is we making this, this tax money? Run, run, run up a hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, whatever, in two, three months. Then ho go to splurging because they be too busy and trying to be like the next person. Then ho, you start hating on. Other motherfuckers in the tax game. One thing about it, I've been doing this shit eight years. Y'all ain't never seen me get on this beach and hate on a next tax company. I ain't never did no weird. Who knew tax companies was just out here hating on it? Shit like that. You hoes are weird. You hoes are very weird. Do you actually think I'm finna pay somebody to expose somebody? Man, I ain't even got that much time on my motherfucking hands. Bitch, I'm sitting back in my motherfucking notebook every day thinking about my next motherfucking, motherfucking investment. How many motherfucking cows I'm finna buy? How many fucking chickens I'ma buy? How the fuck I'm finna build this motherfucking ranch up? How many fucking black angles fucking cows and bulls and shit I'm finna get? <laughs> That's what the fuck I be sitting back thinking about. And like I said before, my friend called me. I guarantee you, can't no tax hoe in a tax game. You bitches can't go million for million with me. You bitches can't go matching for matching with me. 
You bitches can't go land for land with me. You can't go foreign for foreign with me. And bitch, you can't go IRA for IRA with me, ho. Damn. And bitch, you got so much to say. You want to talk. Bitch, show me what your kids got in they motherfucking account, bitch. Show me what the fuck you did for your mama, ho. Y'all hoes really be hating. You some hateful ass bitches. For real. Mama. Like, ho be doing all kind of talking. Ho, let me go and call you out. You a millionaire. You want to be dead so bad. Come on. Post a million, ho. I'm going to post three. Bitch, post three. I'm going to post six. Post six, bitch. I'm going to post eight. When you start talking money with a bitch, a bitch get quiet. Bitch, wanna, you got so much to say about Danny. You want to pay somebody $1,000 to expose me as a scammer, lying like I'm a fucking scammer, bitch. Let's go million for million, bitch. Let's go million for me. Somebody go DM that hoe and tell that hoe that Danny said, let's go million for million. Mansion for mansion, land for land, hour A for hour A. I'm tired of all these capping ass hoes in the test guy. I'm going to start calling y'all hoes out. Y'all hoes gonna walk right here with a Birkin bag, like you got a million dollars, this and that. Yeah, come, come, come partner with me. I can help you. Show me on you. Show me on you. Let's go. I'm ready. We know. Probably in that Birkin bag. Over. I'm ready. Show me on you, ho. You wanna pay somebody to lie like I'm a scammer to expose me like I'm a fucking scammer, ho? I been heard of this shit. I heard about this shit three, four months ago. Somebody had already told me. Hey, you know the Kayla hold the one that told the Sharetta. I don't give a fuck who told Sharetta to do what. Hell, I ain't never did no hate shit like that before. Bitch, I ain't never paid nobody to expose nobody. I don't do no hating shit like that. You hoes are natural haters. You're Danny wannabes. And guess what? You paying this hoe to expose me. What the fuck this hoe stopping? I promise y'all, like, the last week, keep in mind, my restaurant been booming, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing but good reviews. This Sharia hoe, she paid somebody to go leave a few fake fake reviews. You get what I'm saying? Oh, we went in, this shit is disgusting, this and that. First of all, I just want to let you know, <laughs> it ain't for y'all ass anyway. Make the peach cobbler, y'all. Think you just hate you, you just hate it. I could never be for the peach. If it's good, it's good. And if it's not, I think y'all know the rules. That's all I really want to tell you. And what's you stopping? We still running it up every fucking day. But that's what hating ass motherfuckers do. That's what hating motherfuckers do. If it was for y'all, I would've put the bitch in South Dallas. Stay your ass out of there. The fuck? So how the fuck you come all the way from South Dallas to Frisco anyway, bitch? That's a whole hour drive. Bitch, you got time on your hands. You have ri you have major time on your hands. You want to sit there, leave fake reviews? I can turn them hoes out. I don't give a fuck about no fake reviews. I can turn them bitches out. The fuck? Give a fuck about that. I don't give a fuck about them numbers. Them numbers. My my employees and them fucking numbers every day. Every time I check that fucking camera, that store be loaded as hell. Don't make me put them bitches all over Dallas. Because I will. Don't make me open up one right across, right down the road from where you live at, ho. In them ugly ass apartments. <laughs> I never in my life. Seen somebody, y'all are clout chasing dogs, man. I swear to God, all y'all do is cl uh, chase clout all day, every day. Y'all some clout chasing bitches. I ain't never in my life hated on no bitch. I ain't never in my life was, I ain't never got envious of no bitch. Man, I uplift bitches. Like real bitches that's getting money, I uplift them. I partner with them. Hey, what you got going on? Because you you really piped the fuck up. You know, we might need to share ideas. That's the type of shit I do. You think I'm going to pay somebody to expose somebody, bro? I don't do no shit like that because at the end of the day, you can pay a motherfucker all you want to because what's for them is what's for them. Bitch, you can't stop what God got in store for nobody else. And them major facts. You can't stop what God got in store for nobody else. I don't give a fuck how many people you pay. Bitch, you can pay 10 people. I don't know people you pay and I still made $11 million last year off Texas. Damn.
My club. 11 million last year? Oh, my. Still made 11 M's. How I profit 7 to 8 M's. Oh, you paid the whole for nothing. Because what the fuck you stopping? 11 million last year. You ain't stopping nothing. You might as well go get your money back. I'm just going to be honest. Go get your money back. Because they ain't working. I still got over 800, over 800 fucking tax partners. Just waiting on me to call them to partner with my company. People really been sending their information for me to do their taxes in August. I'm like, you know what? It's a cutoff time. We ain't doing it no more. I did all the late filers in April and May. But what are you stopping? This ain't nothing but more exposure. My the last TikTok video I did, the T page sent me that hoe. A whole T page sent it to me. I gave the T page the right to post my shit. Cause I said, you know what? It's hot right now. Go on, run your numbers up. See, that's the type of shit I do. Even though it was something about me being a scammer, I see a little run her money up. Bro, run your shit up. Run your views up. But at the end of them, she sent me that. She's like, nah, Danny, I ain't going to lie. This nigga, this nigga right here posted the messages from the Kayla Ho paying Sherelle to blast you. Come on now. Like, how you weird. That's why you ain't got your kids. I ain't going to lie. That's big weird. Especially that the fact that we only talking about taxes. Well, the taxes is the law. Hold on. Taxes is not only the law. Taxes is law. Girl, what? That's why you ain't got custody of that, of that, of that child, ho. That's why. Like, you don't deserve to have your kids, bro. You run this hoe. Doing, and I, the Ashley Grace and shit. Let me tell you something. That girl was fucking with Ashley first. I hate, I swear to God, I hate Ashley going through that shit. Like, I hate to see another boss-ass bitch down. For a scumbag, ho, you ain't even got no money. Mm. All you do is sit on the internet and fuck with people all day. Bitch, you ain't even got no money. At least if I, if I was on this bitch fucking with somebody all day, at least I have a bag. Ho, you don't got no money. You don't got one of your kids, ho, you are bitter. I feel bad for you. I really feel bad for you. I swear to God, if I could, bitch, I'd take your child. And I'll raise hey. that child. I swear to God, I will. If I could, I would take that same child you lost custody of. I would get that child. I would raise that child. I'll raise that child right. i send that child right to my mom. Hey, mama, the same way you got them other two <laughs> kids. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, kids. I'll send them right to my mom. Got them in line. They ain't disrespectful. They ain't right here, bitch, hold this and that. They ain't right here doing none of that. Weird ass shit. Man, help me raise this child. Bitch, I would take that child if I could. I swear to God, I will. I would take that child. A motherfucker like you, you got time to be on here doing all this internet shit. But she ain't trying to fight for your child, bitch. Something wrong with that. Y'all ain't never looked at that shit. You got time to go live and talk about everybody else's business. <clears throat> but you can't call CPS and fight for your child, bitch. Let me tell you something. A child. Oh. Why do we call of this? Because everybody. And I mean, this information so. If I was in her predict me out, I swear to God. Before I even go live and talk about something, I'd be going live at CPS every day crying for my motherfucking baby. I'd be on my motherfucking knees. On live, crying for my motherfucking child, begging God to send me my motherfucking child back. How the fuck you lose custody of your motherfucking child and you want this bitch every day fucking with people? Bitch, you all fucked up. Right. The only time I'll be going live, bitch, is on my knees telling my followers to help me get my motherfucking child back. Have y'all ever seen that bitch do that? Y'all ain't never seen that bitch go live on her knees at CPS to get her motherfucking child back. Bitch, that's where you need to be at going live, bitch. You need to tell your followers, your fan base, to come together and help you get your motherfucking child back. Because, bitch, if I could, I swear I'd go get that child. I swear I would go get that child. And it's not because of you, bitch. I'd go get that child because I love kids. I will go take that fucking child and raise that child. 
Now y'all laugh. I'm not even laughing right now. I'm dead ass motherfucking serious right now. I'm dead fucking serious. It's not even no laughing matter. I swear, if I could, because I think the daddy people got, the, I'm, I'm glad the daddy people got that child. If I could, I would go take that child and raise that. The daddy, oh, oh, son with the daddy got that child. It don't fact. Cause ain't no way you got this much time on your hand, ho. You doing all this? You doing? I ain't gonna lie. Them some bad ass red heels right here. Y'all see how bipolar I am now? I'm looking at my heels and shit. I ain't gonna lie. Them hoes fire as hell. Fire. <laughs> I probably wore them like one time. And these are cute too. And I love these. And the roll tone boards. Yeah, these are my favorite. But I never wore them before. Then I got all my um. My little small bags up here, you know, yeah. Go yard, go yard. Um, mm -hmm. Louis, Alexander McQueen. I am really a clutch type girl. Tom Ford, Alexander Wayne, Balenciaga, Off White, Off White, DG. Shavanchi, Amiri, Gucci, Burberry, Louis, Balenciaga, Balenciaga, Tom Ford, yeah. I know y'all aggravated by, my, by this part. <laughs> yeah. I, that was my breather I needed, yeah. Because I get that girl, baby. I swear to God I will. I swear to God. But yeah, my man closet, his closet... His closet looks so much better than mine. I swear. Like, you ought to see his closet at the condo. The closet at the condo is so fucking full. Then he brings 20 bags of shoes over here. Yeah. His closet really looks better than mine. And I'm, I'm really hating on him. I can't wait to get mad at him and throw all these shoes down and throw <laughs> all these clothes down and all that kind of stuff. And that's it. But yo, he is a real neat freak. Like, and y'all tell my son why I love Corey. Like, Corey is the type of guy, he's a man, man. He helps around the house. He gon' like, he gonna do a lot of stuff. Like, I can just be doing my, my work all day. He gonna, he gonna do what he gotta do. You can say he a country nigga. He's from where I'm from, Definitely almost. So, I'm from Mississippi. He's from oh, Alabama. So, he's yeah. a real man, man. He's gonna make sure either he gonna cut the grass or... The lawn service. He gonna contact them to come get the grass. Either he gonna wash the cars, or he gonna call somebody over here to wash the cars. Like he gonna wash out the garbage can. He gonna make sure my closet together. Gonna make sure his closet together. He gonna vacuum. He gonna he he's gonna do anything that he can to make my day much easier. So yeah, but enough of these hoes, y'all. I posted my test last today. The, the tax class, it was two ninety seven for t a month and a half, yeah. The session is gone. It's four ninety nine dollars now. Yeah, Maddie House with all these damn shoes. Y'all ready to break generational curses, create more generational wealth? That's the route to go. You know, I gotta let y'all know. I'm rich off taxes. I ain't rich off scamming. <clears throat> I ain't never scammed a bitch a day in my life. Fuck, I look like little, your little four thousand dollars fucking refund going to my bank account, and I lose, I lose my kids and every fucking thing. Bitch, ain't that serious? I'm gonna get my little prep fee, and we good. I'm gonna do your taxes. I'm gonna get you the most back, and once I get my prep fee, we're good. That's it. I don't need no whole tax refund going into my damn bank account. You think I'm gonna lose everything I got? Bitch, I got more than taxes now. I got more than taxes to lose. I tell you what, it wouldn't be worth none of that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't believe it. Now everybody got some scam in them, but ain't no way. Like Shawty makes CPNs. This, <laughs> and I'm all for a CPN. I can never believe you and you a scam. <laughs> no. I don't. I got all kind of shit that I got to lose. So you really think that I'm finna lose what I got going on for somebody else? 
It don't work like that. But that last little TikTok video on my page, y'all gonna share this shit. Because one thing about it, when the truth come out, oh, y'all don't like to share the truth. But when motherfuckers lie and say, scam this, scam that, oh, 200 shares. That's how y'all motherfuckers do. That's how y'all do. But go share what I just told you to share. The last little TikTok I just put up, the guy exposing the messages of this whole paying the bitch a thousand dollars to um to 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 blast me to lie like I'm a scammer. Yeah. Let me know what y'all think. Hey Janelle. But my phone is on one percent. It, it's really gonna go dead. So let me know what y'all think about that. Comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I just want to say this. I don't, I, I could be wrong. I just don't think, um, that she's doing the type of scamming that they say she, like, yeah, she's, um, getting people refund, putting it in an offshore account. Like, how do you know that? And then if that is the case, where the damn account at? You know what I'm saying? If you know that much, then you should have proof of that money going into a whole nother account. So I'd like to see that. You know, to believe that. Right? But um that's all I got. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all.